me. I'm pretty sure this is my boat. Seven foot nine inches. Don't you even think about it. Hey! No, no! So here's my Seahawk 2 boat, seven foot nine inches. Unfortunately, that got drugged across a rock during my dredging season. So gonna have to do a better job making sure this boat does not get drugged across any rocks. I do know though, once you take these things out of the package, uh, you'll never get them to fold back to that size box ever again. So it's been a few plus days since I've done any video vlogging. So I've been working in the van here and getting organized, getting things wrapped up. I gotta do some work to my red truck. Maybe we should get the starting fluid out and do the old ether trick. We're good. I don't think that could have gone any better for my first time. Sorted out some ropes and pull straps the other day. I got more of those stored in the van here. That's not gonna hurt anything. Still getting my garage space. I normally don't get into my garage every day. It's just nice when you have to get into it, you don't have to move a thousand things. When I was living in the van, I said, when I get back out living in the van again and staying in the van, there is no way in heck I'm gonna pack it down so much to the point where it's not comfortable. Everything has its space and there gets a certain point when you can't acquire any more stuff and that's van life. You gotta keep what's most important to you and the rest of what's not important to you, you gotta get rid of it. All right, well, I feel better about that. Back to having my toolbox open again. And actually the pack will probably end up going back here, guys. I think it will end up fitting in there. Oh, well, unfortunately, I do not think that is gonna work. What was I saying earlier about not having to move a thousand things to get into my garage space? Still getting my garage space. Well, there's my backpack and my hauling pack. So that might be my solution, guys. I might just have to move that off the top of my garage space whenever I wanna get into it, but uh, at least it's one pack and I can just grab it. All right, guys, here's the backpacking tent. A little windy out. I just got a couple stakes in there right now just for a temporary deal. But it's got this cover right here. Got a little area right here to put a backpack and then crawl in here and put the sleeping pad down, sleeping bag, and that's what I'm gonna call home when I'm down by the river. So it's nothing crazy, but it's good enough to crawl in after a hard day of mining and get some sleep. What's up, guys? Monday morning here. We're gonna get some rain today, scattered showers. But I hope you guys are getting your week started off right. So you guys that have watched my review video, you already know all about this. This is my Angus McKirk sluice box. You can kind of see some of the blemishes on there. Anyhow, I didn't really want to be that guy, but I sent them an email last night and they got a hold of me this morning. Surprisingly, I woke up and checked my email and they had already got back to me. And well, they told me to send some pictures and stuff, so I went ahead and sent some pictures to them. And Check out this, guys. Yesterday, I was strapping it down to my backpack and that piece right there broke, which isn't really that big a deal. It actually kind of looks like that whole piece right there could come off right there in a straight line, if you see what I'm saying. Long story short, the box got sent to me brand new. What I said in my email last night was, I used to have the old model of this box, the gray color. Long story short, I used it for three years, beat it up hard, and moved a lot of dirt through it, and long story short, it still looked better than the one that I got in the mail, this black one, brand new. So pretty much, um, the email's sent, the photos are sent, I've gotten in contact with the company, now they just have to get back to me. They did ask for my shipping address, it kind of makes me think that they might send me a new box. I'm really hoping they do. I don't really think the blemishes and all that are going to affect it from catching gold, but at the end of the day, it's a brand new box, and I feel like, well, it shouldn't have all the scratches and all the dings that it does have on it. And it broke yesterday strapping down to my backpack, so I don't I don't think that should do that. It's brand new, and it shouldn't do that. So we'll see what the Angus McCurk Company says back to me, and we'll see how this goes. I'll definitely let you guys know. All right, guys, that is it. Just getting things wrapped up around here, waiting for that part to come in, and then I'll get that red truck running. Yeah, it should do the trick. All right, here she is. The van is pretty much ready to go. I mean, I got a couple other things in here I could do as far as reorganizing, but I just have to ask myself, am I fine with the way it is or do I wanna go ahead and change it? So making a couple of those decisions and just waiting for the part for the red truck to come. But as soon as the part comes in, I'll go ahead and get that on and get the truck running again. And that will be about it, guys. I'm getting close to turning the key and heading back to gold country. So uh, we are getting close, guys. With that being said, I hope you guys have a good rest of the week. I might get another video out, but I can't guarantee that. And we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, that is it. And I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.